you have a tunnel broker account with Hurricane Electric, you know that you can get a slash 64 or slash 48 of IPv6 space with no problem. In fact, those are our standard v6 allocations. Since 2001, the policy has been based on RFC 3177. A slash 48 should be considered the standard allocation for general users who need multiple subnets, and a slash 64 is for users who need one and only one subnet. As noted in the RFC, there isn't any reason not to give a slash 48 that growth is expected. The slash 48 has a lot of natural benefits and it still represents responsible stewardship of the total IPv6 address space. So why is there still no real consensus on what size prefix to hand out? If you ask your network friends what size net block a residential end user should get, you might hear slash 64 or slash 56 or slash 48. Local internet registries are given at a minimum a slash 32 of IPv6 space with another slash 32 in reserve. That gives the ability to assign just 65,000 slash 48s. A draft to update RFC 3177 suggests that a slash 48 might not be the ideal standard prefix size. Throwing slash 48s at every residential end user has been criticized as being wasteful. One idea is to have the LIRs allocate slash 56 prefixes, which would give them the ability to assign 16 million such net blocks. A slash 56 give users 256 slash 64s to work with. Every slash 48 contains 65,000 subnets. By going from the slash 48 one size fits all to instead using a slash 56, we could reduce total projected address consumption by up to 8 bits or 2 orders of magnitude. A lot of the question boils down to this. Does the normal residential customer require more than a slash 64? A slash 64 gives you only 18 quintillion addresses and is efficient for single link, single host setups. In 10 years time, will a slash 64 still be enough? Will giving out too many slash 48s turn out to be wasteful? Could a slash 56 be a good middle ground or is it too late to go back on a decade's worth of RFC 3177 use? Feel free to email ipv6 at he.net if you have any questions or visit the Hurricane Electric Tunnel Broker forums online for more advice.